Hey guys, welcome back again. So in this video, we are going to talk about how exactly Google is going to rank your pages in year 2021. Yes, guys, this time is to say goodbye to 2020, but we have to well prepared with the ranking strategy in the Google for year 2021. And that's why in this video, I'm going to explain you little bit different idea, but something which is Google is changing in their backend so that you will be prepared and you will get to know those three ranking factors for the upcoming Google ranking criteria. So if you are a blogger and just right now writing a blog in a different way, trying or learning from different places, then make sure you stay till the end because here in this video, I'm going to explain the three ways through which the Google is supposed to rank your website in the coming 2021. So what are those three ways and how exactly you can optimize your website around those three ways? That's what I'm going to explain here in this video till then. But if you're new to this channel, guys, then make sure you hit subscribe and appreciate my efforts as well as give me a reason for motivation so that I will keep making more and more videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so I will keep making videos accordingly. Without wasting time, let's go to the screen and there we will talk about those three factors on which Google is about to rank your website in 2021. So here we are on the screen. First of all, guys, if you're new to the blogging and looking for free learning on how exactly you can grow your blog, make sure you visit bloggingverse.com. Do enter your name and email ID. Then after just enroll it, I will be sending you nine email for next nine days so that you can train yourself. Let's talk about those three ways in which Google is planning to rank your website in the coming future. And those three ways are number one is a normal web search. The number two is a feature snippet and number three, which is about to come in the Google ranking factor is the passage indexing. Yes, guys, this is going to be the biggest change in the Google search engine history. After the penguin update, which was happened very bad just to uh, punish those spammy backlink website that actually impacted only 3% of the overall website. But this passage indexing is a new feature, which is actually going to impact more than 7% of the search engine ranking. So this is a very huge impact, which is about to come in the Google. And I'm going to explain here everything all about all these three factors and how exactly you can get an idea what Google is ranking in the Google. So let's talk about the normal ranking in the Google. So what I've done is, Simply you will go to the Google bar and if you will search here SEO learning, then after, yeah, obviously these are the ads which has actually been marketed. But then after that, you can see these are the general pages. So this is the normal search, which is right now going on and was also in the past as well. This was the beginning, right? Once you search the query, it actually start displaying all the organic pages one by one, simply like daughter pages, simply user can click to this and can get the detail or learning over it. But then after Google has introduced a new feature, which they call the feature snippet. So how feature snippet look like guys. So feature snippet was an enhancement. And in that case, your content, uh, I mean, some part of your content was been extracted and that is supposed to be displayed at the top ranking of that particular uh, particular keyword. So how it look like, let imagine our search here a keyword, how SEO work. Then after what Google has done is, these are the normal ranking pages, but out of those, all the ranking pages, it extracted some detail from this particular website and displayed it here as a feature snippet. So this is called a text feature snippet. Feature snippet could be of different type. One is a text, Second one is of list, third one is of table, or fourth one could be of a video. So what exactly it is, is basically if your page is optimized around a certain topic, then after if Google found like you have briefly answered that query somewhere in your content, then actually it extracted that detail and start displaying in at number zero. If I will count it as a number one, then so this is a number zero position in the Google ranking and this is known as a feature snippet. So there you can see, I searched this one and Google started displaying about this paragraph. Now let's talk about, if I search this particular query, Google has displayed this list. Similarly, in for couple of queries or couple of keyword, you can see some list or you can see some tables or the videos as well. So guys, this is the concept of feature snippet and how exactly you can optimize your content for this feature snippet make sure you provide me the comments so I will make a future video so that even you can learn how exactly you can capture the feature snippet in the Google search engine ranking. Now let's talk about the third one, which is about to come in 2021, which is yet not rolled out, but been already announced and the systems are in place to get it rolled out. And that one is guys, passage indexing. So now what is passage indexing? 
There is a little bit difference in between the feature snippet and passage indexing. But for that, let's first take a screenshot from here, uh, search engine land. There you can see how exactly it will be after the passage indexing rollout. So what happened is, there you can see someone is searching for this particular query. How can I determine if my house window are UV glass? So earlier what Google was doing is it actually ranking the page which was optimized around a UV radiation only. It was not specific to window, not specific to or not specific to house window for UV glass. But this what it was doing is simply was checking and the relevant page which was completely optimized around that particular keyword so that Google was displaying that page. But after this passage indexing rollout, now what happened is Google will not check your complete page. What it check is the subtopic within the content. If you have written a content that is all about your house, then if within that house, if you have written a specific section that actually addressing this query, then even you will be having a chances of getting ranked your website for that specific keyword. And this is called a passage indexing. So now it looks similar, right? If you will see this one, this is a bit, little bit similar to what I can say feature snippet. When you compare it with the text feature snippet, it looks similar. So what is the major difference and what exactly you have to do? Remember guys, so guys, feature snippet is an extraction of certain text or a list or a video or a table from a blog post which is totally around that particular topic. Okay, so once you have written some content which is totally around that particular query, within that content, if you have summarized that complete post in a two or three lines, then Google was extracting that. So in order to get a feature snippet, your complete website post should be around that particular keyword and should focus around that particular keyword only. But what is the passage indexing guys? In the passage indexing, your complete post cannot be relevant for that particular query. But within that post, if you have written some paragraph which is actually answering a particular query and similarly you can take an example of a subheading if you have written some subheading and that subheading is answering that particular query and if user is typing that subheading in the google then there are chances like not your complete website page but that particular page will rank just because you have answered that particular query within the content and that is known as a passage indexing. I hope you got an idea the difference between that feature snippet in that case your complete post should be around that particular query only and the passage indexing is something like not your complete post but the certain section or subsection or subheading which is actually targeting that query and answering that query in that case guys your website will start ranking so this is the coming change in 2021 and i'm expecting you guys to be prepared with that and start writing your content around it so you will get an advantage of google passage indexing so guys there are three ways which i've explained you one is a normal search the second one is a feature snippet and third one is a passage indexing and make sure you optimize your content to grab more and more organic traffic and once this passage indexing will roll out as i said seven percent of the existing search engine ranking will be impacted so probably of yours as well hey guys i hope this video has been helpful for you if this is so make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you like and provide your valuable comment so that i will keep making the future videos accordingly thank you very much for watching this one stay tuned for the future of that thank you very much